Hello, Chef here. So today I'm making a braised beef stew with wild mushrooms and herbs. Uh, if you follow along, I'm going to show you how to uh, braise beef. It's not that difficult. First of all, when you're in the grocery store or talking to a butcher, select a really nice piece of beef. This has a little bit of marbling. It's beautiful. This is a uh, grain-fed Angus beef. Looks to me like it's prime and uh, it's basically called the top round. So this is a piece of round. So very simple here. I'm going to uh, work with this larger piece and make this beef stew. Okay, at this point you want to season the meat. And to season the meat, I'll be using some sea salt. This is pink sea salt from Hawaii. Very good stuff. I've got some herbs de province right here. Put that on as well. Maybe about a tablespoon. Okay. Uh, and some fresh ground black pepper. Got a little treat here too. This is Alderwood smoke salt. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna put a little bit of that smoke salt on there as well. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna do, whenever you're braising uh, meat like this, you want to rub all these spices in there, get it good and coated nice, and then we're going to move along to some cornstarch. You can use flour, you can use cornstarch, it's completely up to you. Uh, there's all different things and different methods out there. I'm just using this cornstarch because I know it works well and I'm going to uh, get this beef braising here. Alright, just dip these babies in, give them a little shake like this. I'll be back. Today I want to share with you something very special. These are amazing dried morel mushrooms. These ones come from Alaska. Wow, look at those beauties. So nice. Organic, wild, they smell great. Wow, nice flavor. So I'm going to show you how to reconstitute these. Just put a small amount in a bowl like this. Uh, maybe a few less. You don't need too many. Really, really an amazing mushroom. Uh, this right here is going to work for me. Uh, you take the morels and cover them with some very hot water. Almost boiling water is good like this. Once they're covered, you don't need a lot of water. Once they're covered like this, put a lid on it. Put a lid on like this. Uh, some people use plastic wrap, that's fine. Some people use foil, that's fine. I hope you live long. I don't know. Uh, stainless steel, non-reactive, very safe material, glass lid, you can't go wrong. So I'm going to uh, come back and check these in a little while and uh, these are going to be used in a small stew. However, take note that there's usually a little bit of sand or debris in the very bottom. So there's the morels reconstituted, ready to use for the recipe. By the way, you can score some of these morels at the sponsor. Wild Picked USA, super high quality. You can't go wrong with that right there. Yeah. This stew is going to get some onions. I got this large onion here. And I'm going to go with a uh, uh, medium dice. Easiest way to get that onion over to the frying pan or the roasting pan or the saute pan, bench scraper. Okay, I've got a very hot uh, braising pan here and I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil. How much? I don't know. Enough to coat the bottom. Maybe a little bit more. 
Okay, so my oil is looking good. It's nice and hot, and I'm ready to start adding my my, my beef. Uh, the beef has been lightly tossed in the uh, cornstarch, and you just want to brown the beef. So we start putting it in like this, a little bit at a time. Get that beef nice and brown, and then we repeat. Okay, just like this. Okay, you get the idea. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I'll be back. Okay, you see that nice color right there? That's what we're looking for. You can't rush the cooking process. Let the food cook. It's looking good. Okay, at this point, we return our beef back to the pan, like this. Stir it up. Oh, man, that's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of beer. You can use wine if you prefer. I'm using beer. Either way, this is my braising liquid, by the way. Okay, after the beer, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, some tomato product. Tomato product uh, can vary. You can use anything you like. In this particular case, I'm using tomato sauce, uh, ketchup sauce in there as well. Okay? Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, now when you're making braised food, one of the keys you have to follow uh, is taste and adjust the seasonings and uh, make sure you've got the uh, salt content correct and you get the right taste of what you're looking for. I've been doing this for a long time people, a long time, so I kind of know what's going on here and you, you will too. Oh, hell yeah. In case you're trying to follow along, that was uh, 12 ounces of beer. Okay, and I started off with about two and a half pounds of meat. Now, this gets covered and you let it cook. Low heat, low to medium heat. Oh yeah, look at that. So this stew has been braising now for a few hours. You can see it looks pretty good, but most importantly, want the meat to be tender so this is where you must uh, do a tasting and select a nice piece of the meat and let's see if this is done it's very good okay this is the point where you okay this is the point where you add cornstarch and water I've got a slurry mixture here of uh, equal parts cornstarch and water. We'll put that in. I'm going to bring this to a boil and once it gets thick, and I think it's thick enough, I'm going to add my mushrooms and let it cool. So it's looking pretty good. You can see the consistency. Should coat a spoon. Okay. Okay. And I do believe I'm at the right consistency here. It's looking good. So at this point, I'm adding my morel mushrooms. Just a few at a time like this.
Yeah. And you remember I saved the juice? I'm adding some of the juice right now. Yeah, looking good. Chef here. So here's the finished stew. Just plating some of this up. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this stew's looking really, really good. And uh, like I told you earlier, there's morel mushrooms, big chunks of beef in there. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, uh, that's a generous serving right there. And what I'm going to do next is uh, garnish. And very simple here. I'm going to uh, put a couple of Brussels sprouts in here. Uh, some up, some down, like this. Okay. And uh, the last thing I like to put is always a little contrast. So here I have some fennel seed and a little bit of uh, capers. It just pair perfectly with a stew like this. That's it. Uh, if you want to get critical and technical, you can always blanch some of these carrots ahead of time and put a few of them around the plate too, just because they're a little bit brighter in color. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the presentation. That's it. Braised beef stew with morel mushrooms. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Keep cooking. Oh, yeah. A little bit of toasted garlic bread and olive oil with this. Yeah, we gotta have that.